Arak or Araq Arabic, Arq is a West Asian distilled spirit, approximately 40 to 63% ALC, volume or approximately 80 to 126 proof, in the anise drinks family. It is a translucent white unsweetened anise flavored drink, which is traditionally made of only two ingredients, grapes and aniseed. Aniseeds are the seeds of the anise plant, and when crushed, their oil provides Arak with a slight licorice taste. Arak is the traditional alcoholic beverage in Western Asia, especially in the Eastern Mediterranean, as well in Iran, Turkey and Lebanon. Etymology The word Arak comes from Arabic Araq Urk, meaning perspiration. Its pronunciation varies depending on local varieties of Arabic, Ara, Ara. Iraq is not to be confused with the similarly named liquor, Eric, which in some cases, such as in Indonesia, especially Bali, also goes by the name Iraq. Another similar sounding word is Ara, which in Armenia, Iran, Azerbaijan and Georgia is the colloquial name of vodka, and not an aniseed-flavored drink. Reiki, Mastika, and Uzo are aniseed-flavored alcoholic drinks, related to Iraq, popular in Turkey, Macedonia, Bulgaria, Cyprus and Greece respectively. Consumption Arak is usually mixed in proportions of approximately one-third Arak and two-thirds water in a traditional eastern Mediterranean water vessel called Aburik, Arabic Aburika Brik, then the mixture is poured into small, ice-filled cups. This dilution causes the clear liquor to turn a translucent milky white color. This is because anethol, the essential oil of anise, is soluble in alcohol but not in water. This results in an emulsion, whose fine droplets scatter the light and turn the liquid translucent, a phenomenon known as louching. Barak is commonly served with metza, which may include dozens of small traditional dishes. In general, Iraq drinkers prefer to consume it this way, rather than alone. It is also consumed with raw meat dishes or barbecues, along with garlic sauce. If ice is added after pouring it into the cup, this results in the formation of an aesthetically unpleasant layer on the surface of the drink, because the ice causes the oils to solidify. If water is added first, the ethanol causes the fat to emulsify, leading to the characteristic milky color. To avoid the precipitation of the anise instead of emulsion, drinkers prefer not to reuse an Iraq filled glass. In restaurants, when a bottle of Iraq is ordered, the waiter will usually bring a number of glasses along with it for this reason. Preparation Distillation begins with the vineyards, and quality grapevines are the key to making good Iraq. The vines should be very mature and usually of a golden color. Instead of being irrigated, the vineyards are left to the care of the Mediterranean climate and make use of the natural rain and sun. The grapes, which are harvested in late September and October, are crushed and put in barrels together with the juice in Arabic El Romeli, and left to ferment for three weeks. Occasionally the whole mix is stirred to release the CO2. Numerous stills exist including stainless steel or copper, pot and column stills that will affect the final taste and specificity of the Iraq. The authentic copper stills with a Moorish shape are the most sought after. The finished product is made during the second distillation. The alcohol collected in the first distillation is distilled again but this time it is mixed with aniseed. The ratio of alcohol to aniseed may vary and it is one of the major factors in the quality of the final product. Another distillation takes place, usually on the lowest possible temperature. For a quality Iraq, the finished spirit is aged in clay amphoras to allow the angel's share to evaporate and thus the remaining liquid is the most suitable for consumption. Some brands. See also. References. Sources and external links. Preparing a rock in Tula, Lebanon. Wine and Dine e Magazine. Syrian homemade Iraq. Video, Preparing Homemade Iraq near Tartus, Syria